Hi everyone, my name is Destiny and I brought a book to share with you all for story time. This one is called The Forever Princess by Destiny Elmore. Once upon a time, about last Wednesday, there was a little girl named Yuna. Yuna had a crown, but it wasn't just any crown, it was magic. Each day at school, the mean girls would pick on Yuna. They would say that her teeth are too crooked, that her hair is too curly, and that she walked too funny. But whenever Yuna would come home from school, she would just put her magic crown back on, and she turned into a beautiful princess. And she ruled the land of Desmina. As long as Yuna was in Desmina, her teeth became straight, her hair wasn't curly, and she didn't walk funny anymore. But the best part about being a princess was that everyone had to be nice to her. Whenever Yuna had her crown on, all of the mean girls wanted to sit with her. She got invited to all the sleepovers, she had the prettiest clothes, and she was the most popular girl in school. Yuna never wanted to leave Desmina because she would feel so special and beautiful when she was a princess. In the real world, Yuna kept her magic crown a secret because she didn't want anyone knowing about her special place. Even though she was a princess, there was a king of Desmina, and the king was the creator of everything in the land. He made all of the animals, the forest, and all of the people inside the kingdom. Yuna never really saw the king, but one day there was an announcement. The king declared that he was throwing a party and everyone was invited. Princess Yuna was so excited she had the prettiest dress made just for her. The next day, when Yuna went to school, the mean girls were making fun of her again. They would say that her teeth are too crooked, that her hair is too curly, and that she walked too funny. But Yuna didn't worry about them, because she knew that when she got home, she could just put her crown on and go to Desmina, where she would be a beautiful princess again. At the king's party, Yuna was dancing, and her crown fell off. It cracked and fell onto the ground. She quickly ran to a quiet room so she could try to put it back together. Little did Yuna know that that quiet place that she found was actually the king's throne room. As Yuna struggled to put the damaged crown back on her head, the king approached her and asked, What are you doing, child? I'm trying to fix my crown, answered Yuna. Why is your crown so important to you? asked the king. Because without my crown, I won't be beautiful or special anymore, Yuna said. Who told you this? The mean girls at my school, Yuna explained. They say that my teeth are too crooked, that my hair is too curly, and that I walk too funny. The king got down from his throne, looked at Yuna with loving eyes, and said, My dear child, it shouldn't matter to you what anyone else says, because they didn't create you. I did. To me, your teeth are not too crooked, your hair is not too curly, and you don't walk too funny. I see you as the most beautiful and most special girl because I created you that way. The king went on to say, there's nothing about you that I don't love. You are beautiful, smart, and funny. You care about others and you have a big heart. Is all this really true? Asked Yuna. Of course it is, answered the king. I created you to be wonderfully made. After the king had spoken, Yuna's crown spit into two pieces, and just like that, she was back into her real room. The next day at school, the mean girls were picking on her again. They said that her teeth were too crooked, that her hair was too curly, and that she walked too funny. But this time, Yuna didn't worry about what the mean girls told her, because she remembered what the king had already said. Yuna put the broken pieces of her crown away, because she decided that she didn't need it anymore. If the king who created Yuna believed that she was already a beautiful princess, then that was good enough for her. She started to love her teeth, she loved her hair, and she loved the way she walked. And Princess Yuna lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you so much for story time. I really hope that you liked it. Bye!